So what is this fix all about? The fix is all about dealing. And it's also a natural trading level for big boys and big girls who have big amounts of money. So what the fix does is one, it provide. well, let's backtrack just a little bit. It's an it's kind of an auction level. So if you don't know the fundamentals of price, price is an auction essentially. Every time frame, daily, weekly, monthly, they're nothing more than auctions. That's why they're called time frames. And on these time frames, every single day, there's there's prices that control the flow or dictate the flow of the market. And I'm going to break this down for you. All right, folks, here we are on Trading Up. We've got a familiar face back in the house. We've got Andre Stewart, who was on the show back. Let's have a look. It was very for 2016. He was on the show first wow. in 2016 as a contestant in a uh, experiment that I was running. And <laughs> since then... I mean, he wasn't a profitable trader back then. And since then, uh, he reached out to me a year later, said he's having some success. And then we're now in 2024, uh, halfway through the year, and you've basically been trading all this time. So that's over 10 oh, – it's almost 10 years of oh, trading – Yes, full-time trader for, for almost 10 years. So congrats to you, Andre. And Thank look, you. I think the folks are in for a bit of a treat here because it's not often we get you on. And when we do, it's always uh, great stuff. I know last time you did a back test, whipped through it in about 30 minutes and I think made 100% on the account, um, yes, with which was real-time back testing. Got to go check this out, folks. Uh, it's all over there. We'll put, hook up a link under this to Andre's old episode so you can go and go and check that out. But today, we're going to find out all about the London Fix, which is something you may not know about. Um, we're going to get him to share his chart and then go through a little bit about what he's been up to recently. So, Andre, first of all, welcome back to the show. Hey, Cam. Good to be back. Well, look, let's dive in. Have a look at this yeah. chart. Talk us through the London Fix, it. then we'll do a bit of an interview at the end. Sweet. So London Fix, what it is, is it's a price that occurs very, very naturally. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because 90, what is it, 93 to 97% of traders aren't profitable. And they're all they're all using very similar methods. And you know, the rant, the rave, all that is like, oh, I know what institutions do, oh, the stop hunts, the smart money concepts. I'm here to dispel all that and my ruffle some feathers. My goal is not to piss anybody off, but maybe just a little bit. But I want to show you guys what actually goes on in institutions. Now, if you're loving the show and thinking, where can I go and trade? Why don't you check out my premium sponsor, Blue Guardian? Now, these guys have been around for ages. They've been sponsoring Trading Up for over a year. And some of the key features that make them so good is that they've got realistic profit targets for their challenge phases. It's only eight or 4%. They also have a scaling plan up to $2 million and they do profit splits of 85%, which is really high for this industry. They also have quick and reliable payouts and a robust reserve that make sure those payouts are as seamless and smooth as possible. Now, if you're looking to join, go and check them out. But first, grab my coupon code trading that all one word. You're going to save yourself 25% off at checkout. There's a link in the description. Go and click that now. Right, let's get back on with the show. So what you're looking at is gold on the London fix. Now, the, the purple line right here is a London fix. The blue line is the Tokyo fix. So there's there's a couple fixes that uh, that are in the market. So the London fix is at 4 p.m. London. The Tokyo fix is 8.55 a.m. Tokyo time. So what is what is this fix all about? The fix is all about dealing. And it's also a natural trading level for big boys and big girls who have big amounts of money. So what the fix does is, one, it provides – well, let's backtrack just a little bit. It's an, It's kind of an auction level. So if you don't know – the fundamentals of price. Price is an auction essentially. Every time frame, daily, weekly, monthly, they're nothing more than auctions. That's why they're called time frames. And on these time frames, every single day, there's there's prices that control the flow or dictate the flow of the market. And I'm going to break this down for you. Now, everybody is kind of shocked at the massive drop gold did this week. Now, it's not a coincidence. Blue lines of Tokyo fix right near the open. There was dealing here at the Tokyo fix and it dropped. But then the purple line is the London fix. It hits the London fix, drops down to this low. Now, this is a daily low right here. Boom. Now, what does the fix do? In simple terms is big boys, big girls, they inject liquidity at the fix. The fix also acts as a barrier to the high and a barrier to the low, meaning 
If we're banging on the London fix and there's liquidity there, we will not hit the high, hit the low. This is the problem that the quote unquote market manipulation people have is that it doesn't always run a high, doesn't always run a low because that fix is that barrier. So look, put your attention right here. Well, you should have ran this swing low, right? And I don't know smart money concepts. I just know like <laughs> the bare bones, but we don't get there because of the dealing around the fix. And then boom, you get the breakout. Now, once we break the London fix here, this low is open. Why is this low open? Because the more times the level is hit, not the stronger it is, the weaker it gets. And so we clear out this low and then gold starts to move up. So you can see now gold is trading slightly above uh, yesterday's Tokyo fix. So what am I anticipating? I'm anticipating another move up to gold and possibly a deeper, deeper retracement. So let's check this out here. Let me get this here. So let's analyze this week of price here. So let me do this here. Boom. We're going to fix our attention here and then at the weekly low, which is right here. So we don't we don't hit this weekly low. Why don't we hit this weekly low? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Let me change your attention to here. Tokyo fix. The reason it doesn't get to that low is because let's say you have, I don't know, a bazillion dollars and you are the one that bought down here. You need a secondary level to trade at. And usually it's these fixed levels. So if the market's coming back down into your level, what does that mean? That means you're going to zero because A, it's a zero sum game. And B, you're probably going to have to dump your position. So instead of dumping your position and buyers like to buy low, you inject liquidity at the natural dealing levels. This makes sense? I hope so. So. Looking at this price move up, where is it running to? It's running to levels of liquidity right here. London fix right here. So, and people are also say, oh, there's a gap. There's this big void in price. Okay, but the gap doesn't fill. Why doesn't it fill? Because price, price tends to get in the way. So you got two options. You can touch trade it here if you like drawdown. Or what I like to do is I like for price to range around break out, retest it, then go, right? That is my thing. Now, we do hit this weekly low right here. Why? Because we've used this level over and over again. So when price gets back down into this, this bottom, this low is exposed. This low is exposed, but this one isn't. Why? Because we have liquidity, a.k.a buying supply or demand whatever you want to call it at the tokyo fix so let's look here right here i'm going to put this up here so this is a weekly high right here why do we hit this weekly high because we've hit this london fix a few times so that means there's no more liquidity and in case you're confused on what liquidity is liquidity is limit orders Limit orders are the market mover. So, and uh, what's the best way to put this? Let's say you have a, I come to your house and I say, hey, I got this magic camera from the hardware store. And the guy who sold me this hammer said that every single time I hit the walls in your house, your walls are going to get stronger. You would be kind of silly to let me hit the walls in your hammer. That's what support resistance is. That's liquidity. The more times we hit a wall of limit orders, the weaker they get, not the stronger. And what that does, pay attention to here, we've already hit the Tokyo fix, that it exposes us to the high. So the fix is essentially a barrier to high probability highs, prob high probability lows. Now, I can put anything on. And it's the same exact thing. Let me get out of here. I have no clue what this purple line is. Now let's pick a random spot in the chart. It's good right here. Right here. So this high here, it's not random. It's a function of the fix. Simply because 
big boys and big girls who have the money to run price, they don't just randomly trade the market. So if you ran Cam, if you ran ran Cam's Bank of New Zealand and I run Andre's Bank of California, I'm sorry, I'm an employee at your bank, Cam. And I say, Cam, I just randomly want to short uh, GDP USD here. And where's my stop? I don't know. I need $5 billion. Are you going to give me $5 billion? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Probably not because I didn't come yeah. to you with the plan and the logical price. So what the fix is, it's a logical price for, for trade to actually occur at. So again, it protects the highs and it protects the lows. Why do we hit this weekly high? Because one, two hits, there's no more liquidity there. Why do we stop here? Because we have price right here. Tokyo fix. We stop. We break the London fix and then we go. And we hit this weekly high. This is not a stop run. This is real liquidity right here at here. These are limit order walls that stop price. And then boom, we break down. Now, here's another thing. Markets move from high to low, low to high. It's an actual algorithm in price. So if we fail to trade above highs, we run to lows. If we fail to trade beneath lows, we go to highs. It's a zero sum game. So here. This this is the lowest price of this week right here. This low is exposed. We hit the high. I'm sorry, we hit the low. We come back up. Well, what do we come back up to? We come back up to the London fix. Can we trade above it? No, there is not a candle that traded above the fix. And then it ran lower to make new lows. Now, let me demonstrate one more thing for you guys. Oh, if I can find it. Crypto. It's Bitcoin. It's the same thing. Let's look at this week. Why is Bitcoin running low? Well, because it's trading beneath the fixes, right? Here, here's some daily highs here. Here's a fix. We range around and then we break down, we break down, we break down. We hit here. Now this low is exposed. Now we have to trade beneath this low to go lower. And we do that. So let's zoom out a little bit. Is there anything to the left? There usually is something. Actually, I'll mark the low here. Almost a fixed price. We just missed a fix. But what I'm trying to demonstrate is the fact that these are the levels that the big guys and the big girls are trading at. It's not, it has nothing to do with your order block <laughs> because let's say, oh, I'm going to buy this block right here. Well, you get screwed. Why? Because you're fighting the flow. The flow is a function of price and that is all it is. And that is all it, all it ever is, is a function of price because we have dealing around this fix we have a wall of freaking limit orders right around them too. And this is applicable to any market in the world. US 30. I know this thing has caused a lot of pain for a lot of people, but look at the price action around it. This is where they trade. It's not the inconsistent smart money concepts. It's not the overly technical, technical analysis. It's price. Well, why is US 30 moving up? Because it can't trade beneath the weekly low and they're injecting liquidity at the fix. <laughs> so, Cam, do you have questions about this that your viewers may ask? Ooh, anything? Well, I mean, one of the things I find the correlation with is I actually had somebody on talking about what they called uh, – his name was Gensler. He did some live streams on the channel and he actually passed a, a couple of um, uh, Blue Guardian challenges. Nice. He was using the what he called the Hong Kong gap, but it was the exact same time as your Tokyo fix. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing that that was the kind of – that was the level – he was using the same level as you, but he just called it something different, Correct. which is which is quite interesting. So there is some validity in this, folks. Um, so so okay, it, it is really interesting. So there's a London one, there's a Tokyo one. Um, mm -hmm. Is there a New York one as well, or or that doesn't there exist? Is and there isn't. The New York fix is not as relevant as the the London and the Tokyo one, and I would say the Tokyo one because that's right around where 
rollover is just just after rollover so the new york fix i've tested it it doesn't really do much of anything um i tend to focus on if i'm trading an asian pair i'm looking at the tokyo fix more so than the london fix but it's also one of those strange things that eu and gu respond to the fix as well um okay so i kind of just pick it by region Okay. That makes sense. And and so this is this is something you you typically use it for for both entries and exits. Mm-hmm. Okay. And for the exit, would you just go okay? Well, if it's coming into the fix, would you be getting out at the fix or just below it, or, or the higher or the low? Because if a if yeah. a fix has been hit so many times, that exposes that higher that low because that limit order wall has been broken through. So right. now we can hit that low because again, like it's an auction, right? Mm. So the question, I, other question I had was around like the strength of these. So how do you know when one of them's broken? Like that fix is is no longer going to be, you know, able to hold. So you said it's been hit. If it hits once, does it is is that enough for you to go? Okay, well I'm expecting it to break through next time, or you just don't really care. You're just going to wait until it breaks through it. And then, this, and then get in, get in. I anticipate it. So if my rule of thumb with especially the fix, it's usually one. Um, and if it gives me the advantage or an edge because I don't have to wait for a higher breakout, I can buy the fix and say, okay, if it does not break, meaning close above or beneath the fix, I can get out really quickly. Um because like with gold, I shorted the living crap out of gold, but it didn't hold beneath, uh, I think it was Friday's low. So um, I can actually show it on my screen. So with gold, I shorted gold here, shorted gold here. And when it did not trade beneath here, it is exit 80% of my position, right? Because it, I mean, a, who's going to complain about catching a drop like this and then not going any lower? Right? Yeah. So, yeah, I can anticipate it attempting to come back here this is where i think gold's going to come back down right around this area here because if you look here this fix and this fix is where we push through these highs from so i think the liquidity right around these levels here should be strong enough in order to push gold up here and one more little tip so you see here right around this london fix how price just ran down that's mm. the auction this is this is this is looking for bids Right, gotcha. find a little bit and then moves up, moves up, moves up. And then right around uh, the Tokyo fix yesterday started ranging, dropped again. And you see it still fell beneath the low. And then, boom, new fix. And it came up. So I closed my trade right here because we're auctioning up. And I would suspect we auction higher in order to go lower. And so I'm still holding some of this position here, but not this position here. Okay, so so if somebody was going to try and you know master this, you know, trading this London fix kind of style, what would you what would you recommend the steps they take to get there? Yeah, uh, I have a London fix course actually. I totally forgot about that. Um, that uh, you messaged me on Instagram. It's one hundred and forty nine US. Um, I forget how many videos it has, and I'll send you a preview of it, Cam, and you can put a oh, clip cool. in here if you. I'll send you the full course. And if okay. you want to put a preview or whatever you want to do, I'll leave it to your discretion. Um, but that gives them the ins and outs of what to look for around the fix. And the people who have bought the course have told me it's a game changer. Nice. Uh, it's kind of reasonable as well. So, Andre, we'll, 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 I think people have probably got enough about the London fix now. What about yourself? What have you been up to in the last, I suppose, year since you've been on? I think it was about a year oh, ago, maybe, maybe not that long. A lot. Um, see the gray? <laughs> yeah. Oh I was, my God. I was looking at your original picture and uh, just before <laughs> on the side, and I was like, man, this guy, he's, he looks young. Oh, uh, man. This guy made a lot of money and was like, I'm going to have another kid. And I, <laughs> I had a kid. He'll be two on the 25th. And wow. um, th my daughter's 13 and uh, my my the middle, the middle child, my son, he's 11. So just being a dad, being a trader, helping struggling traders. Um, exploring passions now more now these days um yeah. exercise working out just being a dad and a husband man and that's my life these days and helping my family out when they need money you know just i don't know man just i'm 
free. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Now, now, what about like just just on the trading front? I mean, you've got a bunch of students that are, that are obviously learning what you do and using you as a mentor. What um, what are you seeing like in the guys that actually pick things up really quickly and or or do really well? What are the sort of traits that you're noticing around these dudes? No overthinking. Right. Literally, they don't overthink it. Um, ask questions. Right. They ask questions, but they don't overthink. Because the thing is, the, the ultimate rule of trading is there's no rules, right? And th- because the job of the trader is to create the rules. So I think they, they, they listen and they ask the right questions or the questions that are right for them to help them comprehend it. Um, and we can't negate tenacity, right? Like... You don't mm-hmm. get to any high level of trading without kind of being off in the head, <laughs> right? right? Because you have to have this, this crazy psychotic belief that, yo, I can do this, right? Because everybody's going to say, oh, it's risky. You're not going to make any money, blah, blah, blah. But those are going to be the same people you help out because you love them and they only want your best interest at heart. But you have to be a special kind of crazy to say, I can, I can do this. It's like, playing a professional sport, right? Like I'm pretty sure someone told LeBron James he was crazy. He's going to live and die in the hood and look at him now, multi-billionaire. Yeah. So yeah, I think you got to have that special kind of crazy mm. to make it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, that's So guys, if that sounds like you, then you're on, <laughs> you're on your way. Hey folks, what a view behind me. I'm at Black Bull Markets headquarters here in Auckland, New Zealand. Speaking of views, you can get TradingView paid plans for free at Black Bull Markets, saving you up to $600 a year. That's right, get either the Essential Plus or Premium plans absolutely free, and all you need to do is trade from one lot a month at Black Bull Markets. And you can also get a 100% deposit bonus for your first deposit up to $1,000. All you need to do is click the Trading Nut link in the description below. Hey look, Andre, it's been fantastic having you back on. I think there's a ton of value in here, folks. If you don't really get it from what you're seeing here, obviously go back and watch it again. And if not, go and check out Andre's course. Um, what is the best way for people to find out more about you? Yeah, you can message me on Instagram at Andre's Charts. I'm redoing the website. It was Chart Artist Trading. I just kind of outgrew it and I'm going to redo it. I'm going to redo it, rebrand it. I don't really care about branding, so I don't know what I'm going to do. So message me on Instagram at Andre's Charts, but it's an O. Instead of my actual name, Andre, it's kind of a play on words. Um, I respond to typically every DM, even the ones people call me crazy stuff. I just respond back crazier. <laughs> Okay, cool. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, what we'll do is we'll hook up a link under this video or in the podcast description to one of Andre's, or in fact, his most recent show, and you'll you'll be able to find those links all over there. Um, right, well, look, um, whilst we're finishing up here, I'll tell you what, folks, what you can do is go and check out the video. It's just about to pop up here. It'll be one of, one of Andre's older ones, and go and check it out. All right, thanks for watching.